Hello, so people are curious about the hand transplant and people keep asking questions. So I've said before, I'm currently waiting for a double hand transplant. From me asking my GP about it, to getting the referral, to go to Leeds, to then being put on the waiting list, took about a year and a half. It was quite a long process. People keep asking, are they real hands? Yes, they are real hands. They're from somebody who has donated their organs and limbs when they die. What will happen is I will get a call. They will ask me if I'm well, and then they will test the immunology with the donor's blood and my blood to make sure that they are completely compatible. If they're not compatible, it means they would reject, so they won't do it. The process is quite long. Um, I have to have lots of blood tests. I have to have lots of meetings with the whole team, with the psychologists. They have to make sure that you are mentally stable enough, I guess, really, to accept somebody else's hands because that's quite a big thing. And in the early stages of me losing my limbs, when the professor at Bedford Hospital was talking to me about hand transplant, I was like, no way, no way, no, don't want somebody else's hands, no way, no. And I was adamant there was no way. A year later, a friend of mine on Facebook who had been a quad amputee, again because of sepsis like me, it came out that she'd had her hand transplant and I was like, oh my goodness, wow. But I don't want it, no way. No way, couldn't do that, no. And then another year later, I wanted hands. So I contacted her and spoke to her about it. And that just convinced me even more that I was doing the right thing, that I was going to ask, would I be considered please for a hand transplant? People ask, will I get two? Yes, I will. Um, that's because if they was to give me one now and then one in a few years time, it would have to be a different donor. And then those two could kind of fight each other a little bit. So because I need the two, they will do the two. Um, it's absolutely incredible. It's four teams that will be doing it. There will be two teams in with me preparing my arms ready. And in the next theatre, there will be another two teams preparing those hands ready to bring in to attach to me. The whole process for me from start to finish of going on to get to go on the waiting list took about a year and a half. Like I say, lots of appointments, lots of assessments, lots of different tests. I've had to have my kidneys test thoroughly because I had kidney failure while I was in a coma. Lots and lots. But the whole process has been incredible. I've been waiting 17 months now and I have a strong feeling it's going to happen this year. I have a strong feeling it's going to happen fairly soon so I hope I'm right and hopefully I can come on one of my videos one day and go look I've got hands you know it will just change my life completely. People ask me you know what will you want to do first? The first thing is to cook my husband a meal. I enjoy cooking, that is one of my favourite things and I will make sure I capture lots of videos of me cooking. It will be absolutely amazing to be able to do things again, but cooking is the main one. So yeah, watch this space, hopefully hands soon.